if, if only people knew how bad, how bad my gym addiction is right now. Oh fuck, there's a dumbbell. I wonder how that got there. We're changing the uh, the the LED now. For now, I just want everyone to know that. Yes, I understand that some of my videos recently have been well, lacking. Like my recent videos haven't been the the, the good old fashioned commentary slash bully slash whatever fucking video. I I understand it's been a little strange lately, but here's the thing: I have so much goddamn free time on my hands. But instead of making videos, I'm going to the fucking gym. Which I'll, I'll make I'll make some more content for you guys soon. But I have so many uh, things planned, and for God's sakes, I ain't missing out on the opportunity. But for your information, this video isn't just gonna be just like some random ass commentary video, or I'm not talking shit on the gym like my previous video. Where the Fuck are the ends. You guys remember what the N stands for, right? Give me at least a one, you know? I gotta keep up with the edgy stuff. This intro's being drawn out way more than a Netflix show. Jesus Christ. This on so that I can keep my hair out of my eyes. There we fucking go! I yelled so loud here that it kind of hurt my ears, so I thought I'd re-record it. Welcome back to another video, everyone. <laughs> So for newcomers who don't understand my content, my videos are extremely random and they're mainly based off of my interest at the time, which gains and the gym have been an interest of mine for quite some time now. And like I mentioned in my previous video, I like, like, and the social media thing, that's just on its own. I get pissed off with social media. Fuck social media though. Like there, there's so many perspectives on, on weightlifting, bodybuilding, working out. There's so many good and bad opinions on it that it's overwhelming to look at. And so when it comes to new people trying to get involved in the gym, they are easily scared away by the constantly changing, contradicting opinions. I mentioned in my previous video that one of my main issues is the perspective of working out through social media. And I forgot to mention that one of these many issues is scams. Now here's where I'm going to elaborate because I might accidentally confuse some people. Professional health instructors is one thing. Hiring a health instructor because you don't feel informed enough to be making your own decisions in the gym. That is perfectly fine. That's not a scam. If they are a qualified professional, that's one thing. That may be worth your money. But... <laughs> relying on an online health instructor or anything along the lines of paying for information that you can just research online that's a different story now here's where i'm going to mention he who shall not be named no it's not voldemort but it still does start with a v v shred <laughs> That's his actual fucking name. And he's actually one of the main reasons why I decided to make this video because I've seen his advertisements online for his supplement line and it's fucking unbelievable. The primary video on Sculpt Nation's menu is him saying that there is this workout hack. He is spurting out all of these trigger words that activate the intrigue in your brain to keep watching this goddamn video. All for his supplement line. Let's keep that. Let's keep that in mind. Breakthrough that I'm pretty confident that you've never heard of before because it's very new and hasn't really reached the mainstream media yet. Yet many experts are already starting to refer to this as the future of fat loss. And while well, I'll be the first to admit that that sounds pretty over the top. You think? You fucking think? Now let me put this into perspective. Like I said, this is a supplement ad outside of clothing. This is the only thing he fucking sells. 50 bucks! 50 fucking bucks! Actually, no! The original price is nearly 70 fucking dollars! Now, you can probably get all of these for a lot cheaper at Walmart. 
<laughs> you know, it's a lot cheaper and there's probably more specifications on what ingredients they put in there. There's a video on this guy and I really think you guys should look into it. The video is 13 minutes long. It's titled, We Need to Stop V Shred. And it goes into detail on his scams, on, on all of his little escapades. And uh, it's by Josh Brett. I will leave a link in the description. It's very easy to get scammed in the fucking workout slash weightlifting industry. But anyways, he, this is not what this video is about. I'm not going to keep talking shit on scammers. It's just that that was one of my motivations for making this video. I feel like people get scammed way too many times when, the fuck, when they fucking try to work out. And then they don't, they eventually don't get anywhere. They don't get any bigger. So I started a new workout approximately four days ago. I've written down all my research and everything. I've put a, I, I doodled a lot in this in this notebook. Things are subject to change. I'm just doing some more research on the workout that will be most beneficial for getting shredded. But basically, the rest of this video is going to consist of me showing you my current workout. I will be documenting any future changes, um, any changes in my physique to see if it actually is beneficial. Um, bas basically, I'm vlogging now. Alongside all my other content. I, I I don't even think I can call it vlogging. Vlogging has such a bad rep. I don't know what to call it other I need to update my antivirus. <laughs> uh, fuck it. This is just simply a weightlifting vlog. So I have been doing this workout for roughly around four days, and I have actually been seeing some results over the course of four days. So before I actually started this workout, uh, I haven't been feeling like my body has been getting enough of a lift in. My workout consists of just lifting um, whatever I pleased, uh, and I tried to get my muscles to hurt. So I call it the A tally. It's kind of hard to see. It's A tally, and then I have four tallies. Uh, on, on the on the left there now this is a known fact just because I'm presenting you with this and saying that it's starting to work for me doesn't mean that it's going to benefit me in the long run it's just it's just benefiting me in the present time but if it does benefit me I will promote it more all right so here's what I'm gonna do I'm going to take a whole bunch of pictures of my notebook here and then I'm going to show you each individual one and basically I have color I, I have shape coded each individual workout day it goes for three days, and after you're done with the third day, you loop back to the first. Um, it consists of chest, back, leg, calf, forearm, shoulder, bicep, tricep, abs. You can write down the workouts each individually. I will put them on screen right now. And also, check out this fu check out this fucking shredded ass dude that I drew with the will be you at the bottom. I'm the next Da Vinci. So basically, yeah, this is my workout. Things are subject to change because I'm experimenting with the workouts. I will document any future workouts uh, that I do do. And also another thing, I know some of the workouts on this on this on this notebook seem a little short. Um, and if you don't feel satisfied with the workout that you've been provided, if you do try this, I would I would recommend uh, adding on additional workouts alongside what I have provided for you. Just do just do your research first is what I'm saying. Doing your research will benefit you in the long run if you're trying to work out. Uh, simply, the, the my motivation is to get shredded, to get the hottest body I can, to obtain perfection. Now, full disclaimer, and just for your information, I am no professional. I'm just experimenting to see what works best for me. Fucking Christ. Shut the fuck up. But simply, my goal is to find the perfect workout for myself, and if anyone else wants to try it, they can. I'm not encouraging you to, and I'm not encouraging you not to. Simply just make your own decision. All right, and then just one more thing. One more thing. You might have noticed I've thrown a lot of boxes on the table. One of the many things that I learned is you need a lot of protein. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Neutral gray more like, um, neutral pain. Anyway, like I said, this isn't a set in stone workout routine. This is something I'm experimenting with. I'm hoping that it works so that I don't have to keep keep, keep writing in that notebook. If, if you want to go on this journey with me as I experiment and find the perfect workout, you can. If you want to just do your own thing, you can. This, this, this video was entirely just meant to send one message, and that is do your own fucking research and experiment. And to, most importantly, not give up.